very early on Channel 4 brought the riots to the movie and uh, you know spent some time commissioned Jonathan to do the screenplay and I had nothing to do with that because you know I'd never done it before and I had no expectations or anything to do with that it was just thrilling for him and for the piece because it's such a special piece I think um, but it was going to be made into um, what actually we thought would probably be just a television movie in fact and they worked you know on a screenplay for a couple of years and there was a producer on board and and this time last year I just got a phone call completely out of the blue and you know they were ready to make the film and and they wanted me to direct it what happened school burnt down did it yeah what was it this time IRA bomb fundamentalist Muslim pyromaniacs well funny that looks all right when I walk past it yeah funny that so I felt very supported by the fact that I did know the, the play and the story and the characters, and that made the whole experience much less frightening. Why, Sandra? Slag. You know, I think it's important that at the first bit of the film you do see this quite tough, uncompromising woman who's not, you know, you don't necessarily like that much. You know, she's pretty hard on everybody. Um, and I, it was important for me to believe that, you know, she might well reject her son when she finds out he's gay. How do you make him a sandwich? What? Tony? What's it to be? Pastrami and fettuccine on rye? Tony, just make him a sandwich, please. You'll have to top and tail with Jamie, I'm afraid. She's just, you know, she's a very attractive woman, but she's just not afraid of looking, you know, she's not afraid of looking a bit fat or wearing a costume that doesn't make her look good, you know. And, and it, through the film, you see her looking fantastic and really sexy and to die for. And you also see her slopping around, you know, early in the morning, looking bleary and revolting. And that's real. Do you fancy that, Sally? Not really. Do you? I haven't given it much thought, really. It's a very simple story. It's a love story. It's a romance. It's quite old-fashioned in a way, I think, in that it's saying, you know, romance and love is wonderful and we should celebrate that. Do you fancy her next door? Fancy Leah? She fancies you. I don't. I'm only saying. Jamie. You know, love is a powerful thing and love can cross a lot of barriers and love can make things change, you know. And particularly is it the love between two boys, you know, and it's saying, well, it doesn't matter that they're two boys. It's still wonderful. <laughs> And it's summer, and the sun is shining, and the colours are bright, and the music, all the mamas and papas' music, is key to it, to the mood of it. Oh, that I'm happy.